Medi 117 on Wait, helicopters can't fly straight. Can't oh, they? They can't actually. Uh, not all times. Not all of them. Why is everything so difficult with helicopters? When a helicopter is flying by, look up in the sky and you will see that the helicopter is a bit off the straight line. To understand this phenomenon, let's clarify the basics. A helicopter flies by the spinning rotor and a lot of magic. It's a fact. Every action has a reaction. Because the engine or the engines of the helicopter rotate the main rotor, the helicopter would spin in the opposite direction if there was no tail rotor. But there it is. Or any alternatives, Fenestron motor system. The tail rotor produces a lateral thrust, which keeps the helicopter straight. This lateral thrust can push an aeroplane forward. This is not so much different with a helicopter. This thrust pushes the helicopter sideways. That's why the helicopter can't be stationary. Okay, this is just one of the reasons. Reaction torque of the main rotor compensated by the tail rotor. What compensates the tail rotor thrust? Nothing but the pilot. When you see this helicopter landing, you can see that the left landing skid is touching the ground earlier than the right one. This is because the helicopter is rolled into the thrust to compensate the pushing of the tail rotor. When a helicopter is flying straight, there are two options. Either the helicopter is rolled uh, sideways a little bit to work against the tail rotor, or to let the helicopter side slipping. So basically the helicopter is drifting. In real life, these two are combined. The helicopter is drifting on the fly path, it's side slipping on the streamline. Many RC helicopter pilots can't fly proper loops. Their maneuvers look more a helix rather than a proper loop. This is because they don't count with this phenomenon. If I don't do anything to this effect, as I'm flying the loops, the helicopter gets farther and farther. In the opposite direction, if I do the same, the helicopter is coming closer and closer. And this is how a loop looks when I'm dealing with this phenomenon uh, or something similar. Of course, there are ways to reuse this effect. Some of them are more efficient than the others, but there is no ultimate solution. The most common way when the tail fin has a wing profile. This is working pretty well around a certain speed. This wing profile can support the tail rotor, reducing the amount of the thrust necessary to keep the helicopter straight. Another solution which is used, for example, at the Sikorsky Hawk family Black Hawk Sea Hawk, is the slant tail rotor. In this scenario, the tail rotor thrust vector and points into the main rotor lift vector. And this is how the pushing force is compensated. And there is the most interesting solution to me, which applied at the Mil Mid Vatsa Chitiri Tritsat Piac Krakadil uh, 2435 uh, hind helicopters. A massive wing profile on the tail is combined with something else. Not that many people notice that the positions of the engine intakes are not quite symmetrical above the cockpit. The entire structure, including the fuselage, engines, main shaft, rotor, tilts 2.5 degrees. 
This layout can provide enough compensation to reduce the tear rotor thrust pretty well in many scenarios, but still, neither of them is perfect. However, there are helicopters which can fly straight, just none of them are conventional. The tandem helicopters like the Chinook, the coaxial helicopters like all Kamov models, or the intermachine helicopters like the Cayman K-Max. One thing is in common at these helicopters, there is no tail rotor, because when there is a tail rotor or anything similar, there is side slipping. Thanks to Levente Benedek, combatant on Plow.hu, for helping me out with the Black Hawk footages. I hope so you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you next time.